Hey now, what's up, man? Revolver Golden Gods Awards number three here in Los Angeles outside of Club Nokia. We are on the black carpet here, man, and we're part of the uh, UltimateGuitar.com stage. We're hanging out right here with members yeah. of ROMS. This guy that's interviewing uh, Ramstein right now, <laughs> so he, he'll be st speaking in Ramstein language. I said Ramstein 99. No, Ramstein, he looks like one of my homeboys, uh, Martini. Like, he looks just like him. I think that because my homeboy Martini plays the bass, like rocker bass. If you ever get to see him on my channel, y'all see what I'm talking about. I'm going to refer back to this interview for Ramstein. But I used to live in Los Angeles, so I know exactly where they at. Stein. What's up, brothers? Schneider and Till, welcome to uh, our little TV segment here. Why man. is it black, And uh, actually? Uh, it says for some reason. Uh, why is it black? Because metal is... Look at you. Look at what you're wearing, man. We wear black. Metal is, is unified all over the States. I mean... Sorry, he got the Neo glasses going on, but I guess that was made around that time. He said, why is it black? I'm like, ooh, doo-doo. <laughs> you know, to get the eyes, ooh. And there's a lot of, so many fans. The, the show that Rammstein did in New York City, Madison Square Garden, didn't sell out in a few minutes. 20, 20, 20 minutes. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. That was actually the ignition to, to plan the upcoming tour now and uh, come back again. So we realized that people still want us here. So. Well, good. I mean, and you guys are doing another tour that kicks off in May, around the, the beginning of May. You guys are doing a North Fifth of May. Cinco de, Cinco de Mayo. Yeah. Si, amor. <laughs> You guys, um, I always feel like sometimes you throw Spanish into your lyrics just to mess with people. No, not at all. You probably I, should. I, no, we have a big fan community in Mexico, so this is, it's just for a little thank you or something. But because they really like... Yeah, I, I know Latinos really love them. When I was living in California, that's that's how I got put on to Ramstein. I knew about them, but I never watched their stuff. The only, thing I, uh, only video I did watch of Ramstein, which is too hot for television, was... I used to go to this, uh, I don't know if y'all familiar with Rancho Cucamonga in California, but there used to be this club and like in two, like from 2002 to 2007, it was called uh, Twins and they also had another bar called Margaritaville. It was a different Margarita, it's like Margarita, but it changed it to Margarita Beach. Anyway, they used to have this big projector and whatever song that the DJ was playing, they would play the music video and they would play Ramstein's music video through Haas. And I don't know if anyone ever seen this video of them doing a live show. It's crazy. And the live show on Duhas, he was taking a, I can't say, but y'all know what I'm talking about. He was taking a, like a fake thing, <laughs> a fake man's member and smacking somebody with it on stage. And it was like, it was crazy. I'm like, I'm like, I felt appalled. I was like, huh? Clutching my pearls. <laughs> like, what did he say? The lady say, I was clutching my pearls. Like, oh, oh they showing this. But it was crazy. If you ever see that video, you got to watch it on your own. I ain't going to say what they was doing, but use your imagination. You got to check that video out by yourself. Do Haas Live. Uh, I guess not safe for TV version, all right? Like, if they can scream in the concert their own language, they freaking totally out. It's, 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 it's cool. Is there someone you're looking forward to either watching on stage or even meeting for the first time? Till? I really look forward to see Alice Cooper. That, yeah, it was my first record in East Germany, which was really hard to get records. Yeah, I like Alice Cooper. Yeah, they they seem like that. Uh, they got kind of influenced by Alice Cooper a little bit because I, I love "School's Out for Summer." School's out forever. Shoot, Rock and Roll High School. Before, have you ever seen that movie, Rock and Roll High School? Back in the day, for the eighties babies and the nineties, early nineties, Rock and Roll High School was my movie. It used to come on HBO all the time on repeat when you only had a certain amount of networks, so you, you see the same movies, same shows all the time. But Rock and Roll High School was my movie. Then they had Rock and Roll High School forever. So if you ever watched that, in in these old days, so he that was Welcome to My Nightmare was my first record. So I'm really excited to see him. And it sets you off on this burning path yeah you know? yeah maybe we can work out some you know oh, show effects right. so, yeah, well, i might be wrong i think it, i think the ramones did rock and roll high school two was forever forever y'all let me know in the comments if i'm right i think it was the ramones that did rock and roll high school and that was part two i think alice cooper did one if i'm not sure or he did another some movie but i'm pretty sure it was the ramones that did Rock and Roll High School forever and ever. Y'all let me know in the comments if I'm right or not about that. It happens here, man. Magic happens at the Revolver Golden Gods Awards. It could be Alice Cooper and Rammstein on tour. Yeah, I'm going to eat this snake. Destroy burning your city soon. <laughs> Run for your lives. So what about uh, Rammstein? Are you guys working on some new music? I know it's been about a year and a half since the last album came out, something like that. Right. And is there something new? Are you guys chugging along, getting some new songs together? In September, we're going to release uh, Best Of Album. And uh, 
We're going to tour in Europe with these are because it's going to be fun to play all these hits. Normally, if if you release a new record, you you play most of the new songs because you have to. And now it's going to be fun to play these old <laughs> and make an illegal party. And I think we're coming back next year in spring to the states. Schneider and Till, enjoy yourselves. You know, Thank enjoy you American much. Metal Awards. Go, go have fun. Yeah. Rammstein, Revolver, Golden Gods. What? <laughs> what was that? Y'all heard him come to Rammstein, Golden Gods, Revolver. What? <laughs> you can tell back then, they didn't know how to interview, right? That was, that was funny. Goes out, Revolver. What? <laughs> Now, let's see what people say in the comments below. I wonder if anybody picked up on that in the comments below. But y'all let me know about <laughs> what? <laughs> let's see. We got a uh, V. Baron legend say Snyder is still holding this mic. <laughs> Damn stupid. Let's see. We got uh, Lorenzo so Toso say Till Linderman's face is clear about what he thinks of the interviewer in the beginning. <laughs> I knew I wasn't tripping. Hold on. Is it Ren Shammer? As a fellow drummer, I felt Snyder's pain when he was completely ignored. <laughs> yeah, he didn't even say nothing. He, he didn't even interview the other second guy. Hold on, let's see. Deadly Striker said, Till could have tooled on this interviewer so hard, but he was super mature and special props. See, I thought I knew I wasn't crazy. See, people in the comments are saying that in the comments. Oh, last one. Let's see. Olivia Munez says, wow, this is the first time I'm hearing Till speaking English fluently in an interview. Years of being a big fan, and this is the first time. Love it. Okay, one. Last one, redacted. I just love that everyone here can feel the pain that Snyder and Till were feeling. My God, I couldn't stop cringing. What? <laughs> If it's your first time to my channel, like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment below if you want me to react to any other videos and interviews. <laughs> Let me know. It's your boy, Shikadeek. I'm out.